Hey guys, you could have decided to make the shift from the Shimano 11 speed cassette system to the SRAM 12 speed AXS. Now, one of the potential issues that you may face is the inability to use your Shimano 11 speed cassette on your trainer on your new AXS SRAM system. What you're going to be needing to use is the SRAM's XDR hub. I'm going to be sharing with you on how to make the conversion from the XG Free Hub on your Wahoo Trainer to the XDR Hub. So continue watching. So the SRAM XDR Hub comes with a spacer that you could use for your 11 speed cassette um, on SRAM. And you will have to change the end nut that is affixed on the Wahoo Kicker. So the tools that you're going to be needing to use is the chain whip, the cassette removal tool, a 17 inch spanner, and some grease that um, would help to fix the free hub on the system and to avoid it seizing in the future. Okay, so the first step is removing the end cap. I mean, you can set opener and hold the cassette with the chain whip. Give it a tap. Line up with the small spleen on your original tool. Plug it in. Get it out. There you go. Once you're done, use the 17 inch tool, uh, sorry, 17 mm tool to remove the screw that is holding the free hub down. Okay, should come off easy. All right? And should be able to pull off. This is the Shimano um, XG hub. So the end cap is pretty much different. That is the one that I showed earlier. So what we'll do is that we'll keep all this together in case in future we do decide to have a use for this. And I suggest using gloves so that um, you don't dirty your hand. But before you install the new hub, what we're going to do is we're going to clean up all the grease inside here. So what we can use to do that is a little bit of microfiber cloth or rag that you have at home and uh, you can just spray a little bit of the chain cleaner to help with the removal of the earlier grease yeah and you have this spacer that you will pull it off and clean it up thoroughly too Be sure you put in back the spacer after you have done cleaning before installation of the XDR hub. Once it's crisky and clean, you could use any grease that you have and apply it liberally all around. Once you have done installing the XDR free hub, you will take the supplied end cap and screw it down, making sure it's just snug and not too tight for future removal. There you go. Now that's done, you could take your New cassette, install it. In. Okay. Just making sure that it's snug. Use your cassette tool 
and tighten it down. Now that's done. Press your end cap, and you're good to go.